All right, guys. So Dragon Ball Legends just showed off two brand new characters. Of course, one of which is LF Android Super 17. I am extremely excited for this banner, as well as an unexpected tag Bola and Vegeta. Even though we did get that cryptic message, we still got that character. Now, I'll be showing you the gameplay for both of these characters, but I do want to say that this character's banner is going to be absolutely busted. I mean, we'll talk about that in just one bit. And by the way, comment down below, are you guys going to be summoning yes or no? I might change your mind in today's video. And by the way, if you guys do enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. But let's not waste any time, guys. Let's really quick watch the video. Let me just be quiet, okay? All right, guys, so I don't know about you guys. First things first, let me address the video quality. Of course, this is recorded from a phone. Um, there's plenty of videos out there. This is just one of them, I guess, from the Senate. So yeah, this is just one of these videos. Now, we're all waiting for this character to be announced on the actual social media so we could get HD gameplay of this. Um, there's one more here we can show you guys from Lewis. Shout out to Lewis. Let me just mute this while I play this in the background. This one's a little bit better quality as you guys can see, but the character itself does look good in terms of animations. The character's banner is going to be pretty good. And I'm going to show you guys that in just one bit as well. Now we did get an extra character, which like I've mentioned before is going to be the Bola and tag actually not even tag. I think it's an assist. Uh, Bola Assist Vegeta, which we'll be taking a look at that in just one bit as well. Now, yeah, this quality is a little bit better, but still, it's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit better, yeah. I do like it. <clears throat> Very cool character in itself. Um, what's funny is that last January for 2023, we ended up getting Tormented Power 17, and this year, we, we got Super 17. So, that's just one big coincidence. Now, let's talk about the banner, okay? I I'm probably going to... Number one... Okay, number one, let's just wait to see how good the character is. That's pretty obvious, right? We don't know the character's kits and abilities. Number two, in terms of the release date, this should be coming out this upcoming weekly reset, which is going to be Wednesday. That's typically what happens. So we can probably expect this this upcoming weekly reset, which is Wednesday. Okay, guys? So that's the release date for that. Now, in terms of the banner itself, these three characters appear. Torment of Power, Android 17, the Purple... Perfect form, so of course the latest one, as well as LF Gamma 1 and 2. Okay, this is definitely going to... I don't see a reason why they wouldn't add these three characters in the banner, okay? So you're going to get a lineup of Android Super 17, this Terminator Power 17, this Perfect Form Cell, Gamma 1 and 2, of course, because they're all Androids. And if we look at GT, they're probably going to stuff in the brand new Zenkai Super Sim 4 Gogeta in the mix. So I can definitely see this banner being an absolute banger. And for some reason, by the way, Dragon Ball Legends makes it very difficult to bring back characters in all-in-one banner. And, and if they do this, which they should do this, um, if they exclude any of these characters, I'll be disappointed. The, all of these characters should 1,000% be included as filler LFs. Guaranteed, it should be. Keyword, should be. Now, another really quick fun fact, guys, is that this Android 17 actually holds the Fusion Warrior tag, which is pretty funny, right? So um, you could technically run this guy in Fusion Warrior, although I highly doubt he'll actually be buffing, you know, Fusion Warrior with his normal Z ability. It's probably going to be, of course, revolving around three tags, which is GT, Androids, and Powerful Opponents. That's the three tags. And we actually do have three of these characters in the game right now which is the old uh, Super Green 17, which by the way, we don't know the color of this character yet. I'm assuming the best color for GT and Androids would be red. Um, of course, they got already purple. 
Okay, let me just backtrack. So GT is missing just purple and red as of right now, right? Of course, because green, they got Super Saiyan 4, uh, you know, Gogeta. Uh, yellow, they got the brand new Pan, Assist, Trunks, and Giru. And of course, we got the blue GT Spirit Bomb Kid Goku, okay? So they're just missing purple, which is this old Android 17, and red because, I mean, we do have the Zenkai Omega Shenron, but that this Omega Shenron could Zenkai buff that Super 17, okay? Um, in terms of Androids, the... The color they're missing really is red, okay? Um, pur I mean, purple, they got purple, yellow, blue. Um, green, you could kind of make a case for green, but green, they already, got, they already got it covered in GT. So the only two colors, the only color missing for both of these two tags that is the most necessary would 1,000% be red. It has to be red, right? Um, now, there is a lot of greens running around in the game, and if they do make them purple, if they just do decide to make them purple, they have to be careful and give this character an ability that nullifies color disadvantage upon a character using an ultimate on uh, while this character is on the battlefield. Of course, because of the brand new Ultra UI Goku running amok on all the purple characters right now. Okay, so this is a must ability, of, especially because you can lock in a character so uh, with UI Goku. So this is a must ability, guys. It really is. Now. Um, in terms of a character that I did not mention here, because we're all talking about Super 17 here, is Bola and uh, Vegeta. Now, let me pause this. Let me uh, not talk, and let's just listen to this. So once again, the quality is not good, but the windscreen is phenomenal. This is the windscreen right here. Um, this is a um, quickly shout out to Slows for this uh, reference, right, from this anime. So it's Vegeta holding Bola. This is actually really cool. I love how they designed, how, how they just decided to bring out a Bola. Um, of course, we all expected a Bola, a Bola not Bola, Bola, after the, um, you know, of course, the, the cryptic message. But we, we never expected this character to actually be in the game. Now, this does look like an assist character. Very much so like Giru, Trunks, and Pan. Um, after we watch that, I'm not sure if it might not be. I'm not quite sure, but it looks like it, right? <clears throat> there's a cover change. So there's that There's that cover change right there. Not sure if we're going to get a Hercule as well, but Hercule wasn't bald, so that's not GT Hercule. But, um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I am pretty excited for GT. I guarantee you both of these colors are going to be red and purple. Uh, one of them is going to be holding purple. One of them is going to be holding red. That's the only obvious explanation to make a full color wheel right now for GT as they hold off for the 6th anniversary and bring out an ultra, a potential ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So yeah, guys, I will be summoning live for this. I'll be keeping you guys updated as soon as we get the color info. So make sure you guys, you know, hit that notification bell and all that good stuff. And I'll keep you guys updated here 24-7 everything Dragon Ball Legends. And also, I'm very excited for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which I'll have full coverage here on my channel as well. So uh, yeah, definitely catch you guys on the next one. Peace.